Hi there, and welcome to another Film Impact video tutorial. I'm Jaap Burov, I'm the founder and senior developer of Film Impact Premium Tools, here to show you the difference between the built-in cross-dissolve versus the Film Impact Dissolve. So, um, the reason why I want to show you this uh, is that the built-in cross-dissolve kind of looks rough. Let me show you what I mean. I've opened here the Lumetri scopes and let's search for the cross dissolve here in the FX browser and just drag drop. And I've got basically a white color mat on top of a beautiful stock image there um, and see how that works. Now, as you can see, the just just look at the Lumetri scopes there. So I'll, I'll just zoom in. There's the first frame. And now, oh my God, there's, there's, there's like a leap. There's like a giant, a giant leap from like zero to like, over, like, like almost 30% there. And that's, that looks rough. That's, that doesn't feel right. That, that things need to be smooth. Right? So this is why you have the dissolve impacts. And there you go. Dissolve impacts. Let's see how that looks. Oh, wow. That looks so much more smooth. There you go. So, so it's below a 10%. So this is very, very graceful. And the reason why it looks so much graceful is that we have a beautiful um, visual curve. And it looks smooth. It's, it's got Beget curves here that, that are adjustable. And these are very cool to work with. And there you go. This is so much more smooth. And this is the reason why the Film Impact Dissolve should be your default video transition. As you can see, I've already set it to default. If you haven't yet, just right click, set as default transition. And then when you select a cut, and press Command D, Control D for Windows, it'll just apply that video transition for you. So uh, again, let's do it a side by side comparison and you can see how it works. There you go, just, just uh, I'm gonna zoom in there. And, and now again, look at the Lumetri scopes. We've got the built in cross dissolve here. We've got the dissolve impacts here. And now see the leap that the built-in cross dissolve is taking. And now it's not taking a 30% look because I, I, I've just increased the transition length here. It's, it's set at uh, almost two seconds there. So that's why the leap isn't as big as the initial thing as I was uh, showing. But still, I mean, this is a huge difference there. And now, now you can see the film impact dissolve is catching up nicely and ends with a very smooth ending curve. So again, this is beautiful, right? So this is so cool. There you go. So this is the reason why Film Impact Dissolve should be your default video transition. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.